Today we are going to make Injol Mi. Injol Mi is a rice cake made with sweet rice. My grandmother used to make Injol Mi on special occasion and it was so delicious. She had huge you know, mortar you know, made of stone in her backyard. She used to pound this steamed rice with her pestle and then soon or later it turned into so chewy, elastic, delicious, you know, in Jami. I developed this recipe to simplify uh, the process. The taste is almost similar to my grandmother's. I'm going to use microwave oven using mortar and pestle and then make it elastic and chewy and then like the taste is like authentic traditional taste. In 10 minutes you can make delicious injolmi. Okay, let's start. So we are going to make two kinds of injolmi and then one cup sweet rice flour and each bowl. These bowls are safe for microwave use. Salt each one quarter teaspoon and uh, the water three quarter cup water each bowl and add sugar so each bowl one tablespoon. And this guy is going to be a, a soup in Germany. So we need a sukaru. Mugwort powder. It looks like this. Yeah. And we use this one, one, one tablespoon. So I'm going to add one tablespoon water to make that nice consistency. And then mix this. Mix this well to make nice dough. Push this on the center, like you make it one lump. This is a green color, such a beautiful green soup in Germany we are going to make. This is also, push this into center like that. Cover with the saran wrap. Plain rice cake first. You see, when you cover this, just uh, I don't cover whole to make the gap a little bit to let it breathe. I'm going to cook this in the microwave oven for three minutes. Okay, three minutes. Okay, three minutes after. Ah, this looks like rice cake. But not yet done, mix this again. Use your rice scoop like this. Maybe 30, 40 strokes. And one more minute. I don't want rice cake stick to this bottom, so I'm going to sprinkle some water. And also pestle, also water. It's very hot, so when you handle this, always use cold water. Cold water. Okay. Grab this with your hand, one hand, and then just pound. Fifty times a pound. One, two, three, forty-nine, fifty. Okay, that's it. I'm going to cook this one in the microwave oven. Roasted soybean powder smells so good. And I'm going to use around a half cup. Rice cake is so, so elastic, well made. Okay. Make a block. So let it sit here a little cool down. Also, so mix this. Mix well from the bottom to top like this.
One more minute. And cool to this. This rice cake cut. So we didn't use any sugar here. If we want sugar, you can sprinkle some sugar on top like this. Wow, awesome. So pretty color. Pestle and dip in the cold water. And pound. How many times pounding? 50 times. How elastic it is. Wow, 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 wow. Go, 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 go. Yeah! <laughs> awesome. So clean water to clean this easily your hand like this <laughs> leftover soybean powder I will just put it here is it delicious so smells so good. Sugar. It's optional, right? So, but sugar more tasty. We made injera meat today. So let's taste it. Uh, this is suk tak suk injera meat. See? Wow! Look at this. Looks like a mozzarella cheese or just a marshmallow, right? Hmm, more soybean flour I'm going to taste. Hmm, so good. Sweet and nutty. Delicious. So make it very easily. You can make it at home. You can use this as a snack or a dessert. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.